there is bad spirit in your family. You are correct, man of God. Even one of your be, became chief. You are right, man of God. Simple. It's that spirit of stealing. Help me, man of God. But there is a child you are having a problem with now. Yes. And it begin to show that sign that this spirit is in me. You are true, man of God. I want to see you. Thank you, Jesus. If you overcome that spirit, your children, they are not. Thank that you, spirit man. has entered the family. They oh. keep two people in the family over the thief, stealing. Wow. wow. Help me, man of God. Continuamos con la administración y la liberación en el nombre de Jesús. Tiempo de liberación. Good morning, church. My name is Mr. Son the Woman. Here is my, my wife, my loving wife. Here is my junior brother. And the boy the man of God is talking about is here. And that's the mother there. If you ask him, the spirit I say is in your family? Uh, really, I, I ask him, man of God. I ask him. Go and meet him. L'homme de Dieu a dit que tu as un esprit de vol à main armée. Oui, c'est vrai. He said, yes, it's true. I have the spirit of arm robber. How? Comment? Explique. Chet. Chet, tu ne traites pas mon oncle. C'est ainsi que j'ai commencé le crime. So I was raised by my uncle, that is how I started crime. Parce que je ne connaissais pas mon père. Because I didn't know my father. Cinq jours, ma mère était venue me chercher. Et m'a mené au bénin. Elle m'a présenté mon père. Depuis le jour-là, aujourd'hui, ça fait neuf ans. C'est avant hier, là, je ne l'ai jamais vu. C'est avant hier, là, elle est venue me chercher. So there was a time my mom tried to show me who was my father, but I never really get to know my father. It's yesterday when my father came that I get to know that this man is my father. Quand on était dans la voiture, il m'a posé des questions. Que j'ai un esprit du vol. J'ai dit oui, c'est vrai. So when we were inside the car, he asked me the question, do you have the spirit of stealing? And I told him, yes, it's true. Il a dit, d'accord, que je vais voyager avec lui. C'est ainsi qu'il m'a amené ici. Et je ne sais pas qu'est-ce qu'il veut faire avec moi. So that is how he agreed to bring me to this church because of the spirit I was having. So now I don't know what he wants to do next with me. Je voulais de la nourriture. I used to steal food. Parce que chez moi, je ne trouvais pas à manger. Because there was nothing for me to eat, nobody to take care of me. J'étais obligé de voler. I used to have to steal because to take care of myself. Avant de me donner à manger, on me demande si c'est mon père ou ma mère qui les paye à manger avant de me donner à manger. Many a time I'll be begging outside too, but they will ask me, nobody to take care of you. I will say no. That's what pushed me to steal. It's more than stealing. He has blood in his hand. After the meeting, so we see because it's a strange spirit that entered the family. The father may not know. That spirit has entered the family already. Il y a plus and, que le vol. Uh, and it's not issue of uh, uh, it just started from him. So I think I need to see the family. So after the meeting, so I'll see them. So thank you. Any other message from the father? Man of God, please help me. This boy, I've never accepted him as my son because of how the issue happened. Last 24 years, if I Look, should. I say your family, there is a case. Not even only you, even this your brother here. He has the similar problem. Of course, man of God, you are true. Give him back and deny it. It's real, man of God. Can we call those children a bastard in the family? So I will see the family all together. I will meet them. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. 
The man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, prayed with and counseled Mr. Sunday Wuma and his family and reconciled him with his son. Let us hear from them. Some years ago, 23 years ago, precisely, in uh, Togo, Togo Republic, uh, precisely, Lamakara, then, I have a contact with a lady at that time, the lady was at the, the, uh, that is there, that end. Then, after having an affair with her, she, we missed contact for that time. I don't know where her uh, whereabouts. After, I don't know, I don't know that she carried my pregnancy until after eight nine, to nine months after her deliverance, after she delivered. One day, some of my people that traveled to that area came back and were congratulating me, telling me that the, uh, the boy child, uh, child for me. I said, what? What child? I said, okay. I do not say anything. Actually, I went there because of the fear. Because that time, I have the fear that maybe I will have a problem with the Togolese people there for impregnating one or their child, I don't know. Because of the fear I had in me that time, I was forced to go and, uh, and legalize the, they call it a uh, Jujuma, her best, uh, the best certificate to this boy that time. I did it. I signed everything, the paper was given to me. And uh, after that, I, we left, uh, we, I, uh, we missed contacts. I did not see them anymore for many, for many years. And uh, my wife doesn't have the idea that I've got a child outside the matrimonial home. Uh, she did not know. Then the only thing what I told her was just to come. After which I introduced myself to my wife that this is what happened some certain years ago. I don't know. I've forgotten everything. I've everything about that that issue of a child issue. That child. So you had, you basically rejected the child as your son. You had not taken up any responsibility for him. Actually, I basically I forgotten everything about the child. I'm no more thinking of anything like that. Until last three Sundays ago, in the service, uh, I was opportune to be in the service when uh, the man of God. Reached me, uh, reached me and prophesied to me that uh, there is a child that I'm having a problem with. I was confused because that was not the problem that brought me. I was actually confused. I went back after every other thing. After everything, the man of God gave me money to go and look for the child. It took me much time. It took me much time, two to two weeks time before I could get to the, you know, when a message is sent from God, is the spirit of God is always with you. And the, the spirit of God accompanied me to this time I have never known in my life. I was surprised to that place, to that way I got this boy. And uh, I found out that his condition wasn't at all comfortable. He wasn't, the condition I find him was very, very critical. Uh, this is where we are today, and uh, here is the child, the man of God we are prophesying at. His name is Shidoze, he is with us today. When I met with the man of God, in short, he's an extraordinary man. I never, though I've been watching him on TV, I've been seeing numerous things that have been happening. But today, in short, my life has changed because of this, this testimony. And he told us that we should I also accept the child as my son and bring him back to my family and train him by myself so in order to change his life for good and forever and that is what I'm going to do I will, I will respect every each of the word of man of God and uh, I'm using this opportunity to tell him that I am very sorry for what had happened for overlooking him for not taking care of him for this years she does here. Yeah. I am very sorry, my son. I've taken you as my son. And I'm going to be with you. 
I'm going to respect everything the man of God said, and they will be with me, and I will train you to the test, to the glory of God. Thank you, Jesus Christ. That is, uh, as a result of the instruction of the man of God, Prophet T.B. Joshua, we see father and son reconciled after 24 years of separation through the prophetic message God has given to Prophet T.B. Joshua, and we give all the glory to God. The Bible says, when the Son of God sets you free, you are free indeed. This word of prophecy has brought a very big breakthrough in my family. I believe that our past is over from today in the name of Jesus. J'avais une mauvaise vie avant de venir ici. Mais quand je suis venu ici, je vois que c'est Dieu a délivré. Je remercie Dieu. He said that before he came here, he was having a bad life. But since he came here, God has delivered him and he wants to thank God for his deliverance. J'avais l'habitude de voler la nourriture. J'avais des mauvais amis. Je dors n'importe où je trouve. Maintenant, j'ai des amis qui sont en prison. He said that uh, used to have a life of uh, a criminal life. He used to steal uh, food to survive. He used to have bad friends and also sleep anywhere he can find a way to sleep. And even uh, most of his friends are in prison, but today he's thanking God that he's alive today. Je me sens très heureux. Et lui, je lui remercie d'avoir me retrouvé aussi. He said that he's feeling very happy and he wants to thank his father to, to reconcile with him and find him back. Nous savons que le prophète Tibé Joshua a prié pour toi, t'a délivré de l'esprit de vol. Comment est-ce que tu te sens après la prière? Hier nuit, j'ai bien dormi. Aucun rêve. Je me suis bien réveillé. Et avant de dormir, j'ai prié aussi. C'est ça. Après le délivre, il slept very well and he woke up very well and even prayed before he slept yesterday night. My name is Ifoma Sondewoma. I thank God for using the man of God to break every curse in our family. In Jesus' name, because I know the past is over. I receive him back. I know that is my son now. I will train him in the ways of God. As the prophet T.B. Joshua has already, uh, has already said, that I should take him back as my son. And I will give him a good training. In Jesus' name, I know that the Lord will be my strength. I will embrace him as my son. <laughs> thank you jesus that's wonderful that's wonderful thank you very much madam so we've heard it from madam she's taking him as her son to the glory of god this is a reconciliation that only jesus christ can bring and we give all the glory to god um, i'm the genome brother to mr sunday woman who lady beside me is my wife the prophecy of the man of god about the child controversy in our family that bring cause that bring many destruction in our family say so i i see it as a truth me to have the same problem of child uh, controversy in which is true okay, 16 years ago i have a relationship with one the, the woman that is standing beside us here and she have a daughter by then, before I left them since that time. It was in Benin Republic, before I left the Benin Republic to my country, Nigeria. In 16 years, I haven't seen her until that Sunday when we came here. So for 16 years, you have not seen your daughter that you had with a lady in Benin Republic. But last week on Sunday, when the man of God gave the prophecy, you mean that on that Sunday you saw your daughter for the first time? Yes. I saw her, I didn't even recognize her. I asked my sister, is it Ngozi? And she said, yes. Ah, I said, glory be to God. This is the Ngozi I'm referring to. So you mean to say this is your, your daughter that you, you rejected for 16 years. You met her for the first time here in the Synagogue Church of One Nations? Yes. What can you say to the glory of God, sir? <laughs> I can say, glory be to God, that a uh, man of God reveal all this and uh, I'm seeing that all other problem is over. We are going to put the past behind us. I will do all possible best to take care of her. I need her as I fit, I will do. 
Yeah. I step right back as my daughter. Thank you, Jesus Christ. We give glory to God. This is uh, a double reconciliation in this family to the glory of God, and we give all the glory to Jesus Christ. Oh, merci, le Dieu Tout-Puissant, de m'avoir amené ici pour connaître mon père. Parce que ça fait plus de 14 ans que je n'ai jamais vu mon père. Donc, je suis très, très content. Je remercie le Seigneur. She said she's thanking God for bringing her to the Synagogue Church of Foundations and to reconcile her with her father because for the past 14 years she has never seen her father. And she's thanking God that today for the first time she's able to see her father and reconcile with him. See, I'm very happy. I so much thank God for a day like this that God Almighty have used Prophet T.B. Joshua to put an end to every problem we have in our family. I know for about 16 years that, she, that he had a child aside our marriage, but I've not seen her. And I thank God that today I'm seeing her. And I thank God. And I'm happy to have another daughter. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Par rapport à ce que vous avez dit, ce que je veux dire, simplement moi, je remercie Dieu que mon enfant est venu Voir son papa, il est dans la main de son papa maintenant. Je suis fière. Et encore, je remercie Dieu avec uh, la délivrance qu'il a eue. She said that uh, she's thanking God for bringing her and her son to the Synagogue Church of Four Nations. And now the son has uh, known his father and now he's in the hand of his father and the father is going to take care of him. And uh, she's thanking God for what God is doing and also thanking God for the deliverance of her son. Bon, je peux toutefois remercier Dieu pour ce qu'il a fait. Bon, je peux toutefois le remercier du fait que ma fille a fait connaissance de son père après 15 ans. C'est that she wants to thank God because uh, God has allowed her daughter to be able to know her father after 15 years. And you're happy now that uh, her father will now be able to take care of her and support you in training her. Et maintenant tu es contente que son père pourra maintenant uh, l'éduquer, prendre soin d'elle et aussi te supporter dans son éducation. Ah oui, je suis un peu contente. Parce que je l'ai gardé tout seul, je payais la scolarité 90 000 francs par an, mais d'études 15 000 sans l'aide de quelqu'un. Donc s'il peut prendre sa responsabilité en compte dès maintenant pour que le fardeau ne, soit pas, ne me revient pas seul, je serai contente. She said that she's happy and uh, she believes she'll be even more happy if the father can also take responsibility in the uh, scholarship of the child because she has been the only one taking care of the child, paying 90,000 per month, and the burden was on her. And if the father is now ready to support in her training the daughter, it, she'll be very happy that the burden will be less on her. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And we know that this reconciliation uh, will open the door for a big, big breakthrough uh, in everything that has to do with this family. So now to crown up everything, uh, the man of God, Prophet TB Joshua, said that he wants to support this family uh, in every way, both physically, spiritually, um, financially, in every area. And we know that the family is coming back with a very big testimony since the root cause of their problems have been exposed in this word of prophecy. So we're here to present on behalf of Prophet TB Joshua and Emmanuel TB Partners, the sum of 150,000 Naira, which is for this family uh, to start a wonderful new life with the, their new children uh, that they've accepted back into the family in Jesus' name. Donc nous bénissons Dieu pour justement cette consolation qui a pris place dans cette famille et justement l'homme de Dieu les supporter spirituellement, physiquement, matériellement dans tous les domaines de leur vie. Et c'est pour cela que sur la demande du prophète Tibio Choix et des partenaires des Malais Télévision, nous remettons la somme de 150 000 naras pour supporter cette famille qui est venue ici à la synagogue église de toutes les nations. <laughs> I give all the glory. I give God all the glory. I thank God for everything man of God has been doing in our, in our life. He has taken care of us ever since we are here. More than four days we are here. He has given us everything, given us food, given us money. In short, I don't even expect this. I give God the glory. I thank the man of God. I thank the Almighty God for blessing such a man, life, that such a man to this our generation. May God, the Almighty God, bless him in his going out and his coming in. Whatever thing he lets his hand was proper in the name of Jesus. I know this morning we go a long way in this reconciliation he has brought to our family. We thank him and we glorify the name of the Lord. 
Amen. Thank you, Jesus Christ. We thank God Almighty for what he has done in the life of this family. Once again, we want to encourage everyone that you must continue to stay close to Jesus. And we know you're coming back with more wonderful testimonies in Jesus' name. Amen.